आतापर्यंत नाही ऐकलंय कॅन्सर खूप मोठा आजार आहे म्हणून एक पाच साल दोन साल के बच्चे को भी कॅन्सर होत आहे ये तो हमको ऐसा लगता है कि नेट द्वारा फैल रहा है कैंसर इवन आवर फैमिली इफ समवन इज हैविंग द डिजीज कैंसर इवन फ्रॉम देम आल्सो यू कैन गेट द कैंसर लाइक इट्स अ वायरल तंबाकू से होता है ना सर वी शुडंट टेक लाइक टोबैको अनसेफ सेक्स जो नॉनवेज वगैरह जो ज्यादा खाते हैं उनको ये कैंसर ज्यादा होता है हेपेटाइटिस बी यू नो द कैंसर इज कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम हेपेटाइटिस बी आल्सो अनहेल्दी ईटिंग हैबिट्स स्मोकिंग अल्कोहल Uh, yeah, basically a lifestyle. Putting it in a layman language, abnormal growth of cells in the body anywhere from head to toe is what causes cancer or what results into cancer. Each cancer has a specific and a special cause. Now, all those things which have been which we really hear about smoking alcohol now these are these are agents which are known to help this abnormal proliferation of the cells abnormal multiplication of the cells which eventually causes cancers in totality i would say smoking alcohol and all the environmental agents that which, which we are living in are basically carcinogens we have to remember that our body is fighting every day in attacking these carcinogens there are a lot of uh, you know attacking proteins which are found in our body like p53 proteins retinoblastoma proteins these proteins are really fighting every day with all these carcinogens that we inhale through the environment and some day when the body fails when these when these agents fail to find uh, fight these proteins that is the time we start getting cancer Hello friends like I explained earlier our body fights cancer cells every day however precarious diseases like cancer occur not just due to physical ailments but also due to emotional disturbances we all know that our mind and body are well connected but we should also know that this connection is very catalytic in nature when a person is emotionally depressed one's immunity is always compromised while i was perceiving my bhms homeopathy course i realized that there is an established connection between patient's emotional state of mind and the disease one is suffering from during my studies i found that there exists a strong correlation between emotional state of a person and the disease In fact correlation is so strong that the cause of emotional disturbance is directly related to the type of cancer one may suffer from to give you an example leukemia occurs due to disturbed emotional state caused by extreme fear or fright similarly liver cancer is the most likely to occur in a case of big financial loss or loss of loved ones also The left breast cancer is linked to the problems with the husband or father and the right breast cancer is associated with the problems related to children. In my research I have observed that every type of cancer is related to some kind of emotional disturbances. People who have genetic history of cancer should take care of their mental state even more. When treating a cancer, emotional disturbance that causes the cancer is of utmost importance after having studied 117 alternative sciences i have found homeopathy to be most effective in treating mental stress i have multiple cancer uh, cancer cases where i have not just treated the physical symptoms but give more importance to treat the disturbed emotional state where many patients mainly seek physical cure If mental stress is addressed and treated the results will be far better and superior cancer needs an integrated approach body along with mind has to be treated with equal importance it is very important to reach to the root of the problem to resolve it and it's possible only when patient share in depth the reason for this emotional disturbance by which 
the disease can be cured most effectively and then the chances of relapse are rare. Many of us are exposed to carcinogens, but not all suffer from cancer until emotions are disturbed. To give example of one of the patient, a young student who failed in one of the exams was too afraid to share the results with his parents. This fear led to high fever, which was later diagnosed as blood cancer. It was the fear of the implications of disclosing the results to parents that led to this life-threatening disease. This further emphasizes my faith in the fact that cancer is caused due to emotional disturbance and carcinogens are only the secondary cause. Sir, I have a good approach that cancer is not a good thing, it is not a psychosomatic thing. भावनांचा विचारांचा आणि तुमच्या जीवनात घडणाऱ्या खूप साऱ्या प्रसंगांचा परिणाम हा तुमच्या शरीरावर होत असतो आणि तुमच्या विचार पद्धतीचा सुद्धा परिणाम तुमच्या शरीरावर होतो हे लक्षात आल्यानंतर मला स्वतःलाही त्या गोष्टीचा खरं म्हणजे फायदा झाला की आपण सुद्धा जेव्हा खूप रिॲक्ट होतो जोरात तर हे आपणही टाळायला हवं आय वॉज डिटेक्टेड ब्रेस्ट कॅन्सर इन टू थाउजंड इलेव्हन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जानेवारी I got operated on 8th of July. Before that, I had three chemotherapies. I was also suggested three chemotherapies after surgery. Came to Deep Ganga and met uh, Dr. Jaswin Patil. I had a conversation with him for more than two hours, and he uh, gave me quite a support during the conversation. If you follow up with the doctor regularly and do as what he says, and also open with him emotionally. I'm sure you will get 100% cured. जसन पाटिल ने मुझे फर्स्ट जैसे बोला होम्योपैथ है मैं हूँ और सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं कि तुम अपने अंदर की बात बताओ कि तुमको क्या प्रॉब्लम है जब तक डॉक्टर को अपन अपना पर्सनल नहीं बताते हैं एक रिपोर्ट्स तो ठीक है जो आती है वो आती है लेकिन एक अंदर से जो अपना फीलिंग होती है एक पेशेंट की कि नहीं मुझे मुझे क्या फील हो रहा है तो ऐसे डॉक्टर जसन पाटिल ने मुझे पूरा सपोर्ट किया और ऐसे उनको खुद को कॉन्फिडेंस था कि नहीं क्योरेबल है तुम भी ठीक होगी और मैं तुम्हें ठीक करूँगा डियर फ्रेंड्स I need not emphasize more on the mental health and its importance to keep healthy and happy. Wish you a good health, good life and goodbye. Thank you.